Hey guys, welcome back. I'm excited to have you here. Let me fix my microphone. It is an early morning. We are at therapy already for the day, and y'all, it's cold outside. I mean, it's 48 degrees, but it's very windy, and it's chilly. Okay, so today's vlog is going to be a little bit different, and let me just go ahead and say this now. I know most people come to our YouTube channel so that they can catch up with our little girls. Um, I know that they come looking for adoption-related topics, but today's vlog is not about any of that, and I've said it before, it is very hard to make vlogs about just our girls, like two videos a week. I don't want to feel pressured to do that. Um, if I want to share something about our girls, then I will share it, and I don't mind sharing a lot, but so, saying all that to say, um, if you've been around here for any length of time, you know, because I've said it multiple times, that I don't enjoy cooking. I don't enjoy being in the kitchen. I do it because I do have a family and I have to feed them. <laughs> but I don't just love it. But I will tell you, if I have to be in the kitchen, one thing that I love in the kitchen and to utilize in my kitchen is my crock pot. So I have started using my crock pot a whole lot lately not lately, over the past few years, because it just makes life easier. I can throw something in the crock pot first thing in the morning, and then it will be ready for supper time, because come 5.30, 6 or 6.30, I do not want to be cooking at all. Um, so, I thought that I would try out a few new crock pot recipes and share them with you all, and I'm very excited about it. Let me just say, I am filming this intro in the van, and I'm sure you're wondering, like, why are you filming this intro in the van? Like, that's kind of weird, Ashley. You're doing a crock pot in the kitchen kind of vlog. Um, I'm doing this because I actually have an hour of free time as I'm waiting on the girls at therapy, and so just to make my life easier... I could utilize my time best by doing it here while I was waiting. That way, when I get home, I can just start editing the video. So, that's why I'm in the van. So, over the past, I don't know, week or week and a half, I have incorporated five crock pot meals. And most of them are brand new recipes that I found. Um, but they're all amazing. Like, very good recipes. Very easy recipes. You essentially dump every ingredient into your crock pot put the lid on it, and you're done. Done. Like, how easy is that? But anyways, but if this is something that you like, let me know. Leave me a thumbs up or leave me a comment below and say, this is good, Ashley. I'm glad you did this. Because if it is something that y'all like, I was thinking once a month I could put out a new crock pot recipe vlog and maybe throughout the month I can test out five um, maybe four or five new crock pot recipes um, and just see how they turn out because I definitely would love to widen our variety of like what we eat at our house um, every night. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First recipe is going to be a vegetable beef soup and it is so good. So let's get to it. So we are going to start this vlog off with one of my favorite crock pot recipes and actually I just discovered that I really really love it like I think a month or two ago and it's vegetable beef soup. I think the reason why I love this recipe so much is because uh, the base of it is not tomato paste or anything like that. I think that that is why I like this one so much is because it's not super tomato-y if you will. And by the way, y'all, all of these recipes and the links to them are going to be linked in the description box below. None of these are my original recipes by any means. These are ones that I have found on the internet. So, of course, I brought in Grayson because he loves to chop all the things in the kitchen. And so he chopped our potatoes um, and got that going for me. And literally, y'all, essentially, you are just going to dump all of your canned goods right into your crock pot. It truly doesn't get easier than that. And you just put that in the crock pot, let it cook. I put it on low for about eight hours or so and it comes out amazing. It's Micaela approved for sure. Okay, 
Have y'all ever used the slow cooker liners? I was just introduced to them um, actually this past week and they are a game changer. It is so awesome not to have to scrub that crock pot bowl every time that I use it. So this is a smoked sausage and hash brown casserole. It is amazing, y'all. It is so good. Um, first, you have to cut up your sausage. Um, get that in bite-sized pieces. And then you are going to cut up your onion. Um, if I don't have fresh onion and celery and bell pepper and all of that on hand, I most definitely will use the frozen bag seasoning blend um, as just a way to cut down on time and ease because as we all know, I really don't care to be in the kitchen. So essentially you're just going to throw all of this into the pot, y'all. I mean, it just, I just, I just can't stress enough, like to get a really great home cooked meal. Um, and it really takes you less than probably 15 minutes to put it all together. It's a game changer if you have a family and if you have to cook. Um, you will also see that in all of my recipes, I add Tony Sachery. If you live in Louisiana or live in the South, you know exactly what kind of seasoning that blend that blend is. It just adds a little spice to everything. And then you're gonna top it with cheese. I love cheese. I could add the whole bag of cheese and be perfectly fine with it. And that is it, y'all. You give it a good stir, put that lid on it, and please don't forget to plug in your crock pot. I have been known to forget that many times. But I believe I cooked this on low uh, for probably about six hours. And when supper time came around, it was bubbly and so yummy. But this one was definitely a winner and a keeper for sure. a brand new recipe I haven't ever tried before so um, it is called white chicken chili and it did not disappoint it was so delicious I brought little Mika Ella in to help me cook it and she had such a good time pouring everything into the crock pot and just really being a big helper it was so sweet at the end after she dumped everything in there and she stirred it all around she signed the word beautiful and pointed to the crock pot she was saying how beautiful it looked so it was really fun bringing her into the kitchen to help with this recipe Recipe. And of course, like everything else, it was Mika L approved and everyone else in the house truly loved this um, recipe. Recipe number four is um, cheese and spinach tortellini soup. And I actually had this at um, someone's house that invited us over for a church youth leadership meeting. And it was a hit. Everyone in the house was raving about how amazing this soup was. I actually took a huge helping to my parents because they were both sick and under the weather and so um, I took them a big helping of it and they said it was a winner for sure.
We live in Louisiana, live in the South, so obviously gumbo and jambalaya are staples here, especially in the Feltz household. Uh, this jambalaya was amazing, and the key to it, so that your rice doesn't get sticky and gummy, is to use parboiled rice. And so it actually cooked beautifully. You actually don't put the rice in there until about the last hour, hour and a half of it cooking. Um, but it turned out delicious. Of course, you definitely need to pair this with some yummy garlic bread, but I was out of garlic bread. <laughs> so we just ate it by itself and it was very filling and definitely we give it two thumbs up. So are all of you starving now after seeing all these yummy recipes? <laughs> I am just talking about them. Um, anyways, so that's it, y'all. Amazing recipes. I highly encourage you to try some of them. If you have a really good crock pot recipe, I would love for you to share with me what it is down below in the comment section and just share it with everyone. And maybe I can add it to our list of what to cook for the next couple of weeks. Anyways. We're going to close it out here. Thank y'all so much for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that now. And we will see you next time. Bye.